Hello Cancer Leo. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Thank you for all the views, comments, likes, subscribe, shares. I appreciate each and every one of you who supports the channel. Thank you, thank you. So the Oracle cards are going to go here, the Tarot cards over here. These are all for you. These are the energies around you, but you could show up over here. So use your instinct on who the card applies to when I pull it. That would be your best choice. So I read them, you decide if and how they apply to your situation. So the first one is Amble with Contentment, number 9. Waiting rather than acting is going to be most advantageous now. So this talks about going with the current and the flow around you. And when the current or the flow gets too strong, the, the seahorse will attach its tail to the coral and wait until the current isn't so strong. So if you're going through a tough situation, this basically says... It will work itself out. It will. The current always gets strong and then calms, strong and calms. So there's something that you are fearful of a love situation, I feel, you think is not going to work out. So the next one for you is back on task 39. Be sure you are using your time in the best possible manner. You might consider reviewing your goals or a schedule or a project you are working on could use fine-tuning. This always makes me think of nocturnal, that there's something at night that you have a hobby or you're better at, um, that you think the best, or something of that sort. So back on task talks about maybe switching from day job to night job, night job to day job, something like that. Something you're... It doesn't have to be a job. I'm just using that as an analogy. But So now we're switching to the Chakra Wisdom deck, and you have Eight of Wands. So a lot of people want to communicate with you. And then Two of Coins. Two of Coins is a couple things. This could be somebody needing to compromise and be flexible in a situation for it to work when somebody reaches out and communicates with them. This also could indicate somebody juggling. So then Queen of Swords. So Queen of Swords is somebody very cold with her words, very harsh. I feel like um, she brings up a lot of the past, the hurts a lot, instead of moving on and getting over them. She brings those up. And then you have Two of Swords. So this is denial. This is not wanting to deal with something, not wanting to see something for what it is. And then Ace of Wands. So somebody reaching out to you has a very strong attraction to you, very strong physical attraction. And then Eight of Swords. So Eight of Swords is somebody self-sabotaging. Um, for not being flexible, for not compromising, or for juggling. Either or those two things somebody is berating themselves for. Feeling like they're undeserving. So five of coins is somebody getting ghosted. So somebody got blocked or left a situation. Somebody who spoke some words was really like bitter, I feel. And then you have nine of wands. So nine of wands feels like somebody has desire for one person, but that person has their back turned. They're kind of in denial of this person. They don't acknowledge their feelings in some way. And then Ten of Cups. So somebody sees this person that they're attracted to as their happiness, their ultimate partner, husband, or wife. And then Queen of Cups, love being offered. So somebody's confused about the love being offered. They're going inside your their head. And then Knight of Wands. So this is player energy, somebody younger than you. I feel like somebody got ghosted because they cheated with somebody possibly. And this is in the past, I feel, not now. Ace of Coins, very good. Success, stability. And I'm going to switch over to the Mystical Cat's Tarot deck for you now, Cancer Leo. So then the next one is Good Kitty. Good Kitty is good karma. So the universe feels like somebody who is very attractive and wanting a commitment is very deserving of that. So then you have Ten of Sky. So there's something about a love situation where somebody is self-sabotaging. Somebody's telling somebody they're not deserving. It's not a good idea. And they're making somebody feel stuck. So see the difference here? The good kitty and then the stuck kitty? 
And then you have Seven of Sky. So Seven of Sky is somebody taking. I feel like the player energy will just take. He's not really going to commit. And then Three of Fire. Three of Fire is somebody looking to the universe, asking why something happened the way it did. And then Four of Earth. So Four of Earth is somebody who's very selfish. Somebody who takes. So be aware when you, um, you're very deserving, but somebody around you would take everything from you if they had the opportunity. And then Sea Kitten. So Sea Kitten is immaturity. So I do feel like somebody feeling stuck is somebody not wanting to move forward. I don't know if they're scared. They're too immature. So, two of sky. So, again, somebody looking at a situation, a lot of two situations here where somebody is by themselves trying to figure something out or somebody's doing something when the other person isn't looking. And then nine of C. So, nine of C is somebody's future looking very positive, very bright. We do have the coins over here. We have the attraction over here. So, and we have the stability here. But then we have like ten of fire. So somebody could be ending the selfishness and the chaos and drama and ashamed. Somebody's ashamed. Their pride and ego has been hurt. Involving friends. Some sort of situation involving friends with the player energy, I feel. And then the charmer energy. So I do feel like somebody's going to try and charm you because they see your abundance coming into you before you do. And a lot of players. So actually you have an older and younger, it appears, player energy around you. One could be a friend that comes on to you. I don't know if you guys are hanging out and they're ashamed of it. Yeah, I do kind of feel like that. Like a friend comes on to you. So then Oracle V is over your shoulder, 10. Some sort of ending where something's ending. So you can go in a new direction. And it's for your highest good. 42 Magic Carpet. So Magic Carpet talks about the universe coming in and swooping you and taking you to your next situation, your next happiness or something like that. So the sooner you end something, the more things get back on task. But it does say to go with the flow, go with the energy around you, go with the current. And then you have Divine Light 27. So this talks about healing your heart and your soul going towards your light, being brighter, happier, more in tune with you, and then communication 18. Communication talks about the universe trying to connect with you during dreams, during messages, songs, billboards, words, trying to get you to feel comfortable and safe when they're trying to guide you and build you up. So the next one is Father Sky, Trust in the Unknown. Wow, Cancer Leo, this is really cryptic to me. So you have the divine um, light here, your heart and your soul, and you have Father Sky, Trust in the Unknown is supporting you and taking you to your best future. And then you have Direction Guardian, Choose Your Path. So they're trying to communicate the best path for you that would be most beneficial for you. Um, I do feel like there's a lot of spirituality, like you're ascending, you're raising your vibration. And so there's a lot of different things you can Google if you feel that's happening to you and you're going through a lot of different emotions to Google and read a couple different articles. Don't just read one and use that opinion. It's better to look at a variety because I feel like a lot of you are going through an ascension, ascension, and a lot of people are noticing this and trying to like, I can picture like a hot air balloon going up in the air and then people trying to grab onto that hot air balloon if that makes sense. Like people are trying to go with you to your up leveling or in spirituality and that just doesn't happen like that. So I hope that makes sense. Bless you Cancer Leo. Thank you.